and we are headed out. We're off to Alaska. Okay, did we forget anything? Uh, I don't think so. We made lists after lists after lists and crossed everything off. So hopefully okay. if we forgot something, we can buy it along the way. Yeah, if we forgot it, it's too late. We're pulling out of the driveway. <laughs> That's right. All right, <laughs> to Alaska we go. Woohoo! First stop tonight, Fort Massac in Metropolis, Illinois. One of our favorite stops headed west. So I thought I'd show you how we were set up this year for our Alaska trip. Uh, last summer we carried our bicycles back here, but we're leaving them home this year. I didn't figure we'd be driving, uh, riding them as much in Alaska. Uh, but I'm kind of set up uh, with crates to uh, carry the different things. And uh, right here I've got some wheel chocks and uh, different things for setting the camper up. Uh, I do carry uh, 10 gallons of water back here in the crates. And uh, I've got a filter system for my water in that lower one below the books. And got a buddy heater. I've got propane back here. Uh, my tackle box, some charcoal and lighter. Got my fishing pole over there. I've got a crate of uh, extra winter clothes and a crate of uh, food. Got a shower tent back here in the bucket. There's a uh, rug for camp if we want to use it. That box is full of tools. Uh, and I've got uh, a refrigerator, a 12 volt refrigerator. Works good for me. I plug that into the uh, van while I'm driving. And while I'm at camp, I've got a 500 watt Blue Addy uh, inverter generator. I've got a couple of those. They call them solar generators. They're actually a battery. And then I've got a solar panel uh, that I can charge it off of or I can charge it off the van while we're driving or I can charge it uh, by electric uh, if I need to. This is a clam tent right here. Screen room. Uh, for those mosquitoes up north. This is also new this year. I'm carrying a generator. Got a little uh, 2500 watt inverter generator I'm carrying in the toolbox uh, and a couple of jerry cans of gas. Rotopacks they call them. Anyway, I'll have that as backup too got room in here for cords and uh, oil and a few things like that also. But anyway. Okay, and this is inside the camper. If you haven't seen it, uh, got two beds. One, Susan sleeps sideways. I sleep long ways. It's a little cluttered right now. Um, so we're set up outside the wind, but Got a little butane stove up there. We usually cook outside. I've got a propane stove outside too, but made my coffee and oatmeal this morning inside out of the wind. And I've got a TV tra uh, table set up because I've been editing some video. Uh, otherwise, this is it. We're plugged into power. I've got electric heat. Works out perfect for us. Here we are at the Ohio River, leaving Kentucky and entering Illinois. Big bridge. How's the trip been today, dear? Been good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Our campground is right over there on the banks of that muddy river. Yep this messy bridge. And this messy bridge. <laughs> I 
going to celebrate our first night on the road by sharing a big juicy steak. All right. Looks pretty good. Here we are leaving southwestern Illinois, crossing the Mississippi River, arriving to Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Here's the bridge. It's a bumpy bridge. Oh, look. Welcome to Missouri. Afternoon, but here's the Missouri River at Herman, Missouri. Here's our campsite at uh, Graham Cave State Park near Danville, Missouri. Uh, besides the campground host, there's only one other camper here this evening. So it should be a nice quiet night among the trees. Uh, uh, we've already seen a a uh, barred, uh, barred owl, so that's pretty cool. Uh, woodpeckers, lots of birds out. Should be a nice night, although it's supposed to rain, so we'll huddle up and stay warm. Kirksville, Missouri, and this is the devil's chair, so-called because supposedly if you're sitting in it at midnight or on Halloween, uh, the devil's hand will come up and drag you down to hell. Now the history of the chair, I don't really understand it, but it was uh, commissioned by a guy named William Baird and it's, he was a prominent banker and citizen of the town and it sat in front of the bank um, and then I guess got moved here but he's not buried here he's buried in the cemetery across town so it's just uh, interesting and freaky it's got like shafts or what do they call those of wheat um, like, but I'm not sitting in it <laughs> and Chuck's not sitting I'm in not it I'm not sitting in it <laughs> No. Could be someone else's bad luck. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not sitting in it. <laughs> but it's a pretty cemetery. All right. All right, we now cross the Missouri River from Iowa into Nebraska. Until a few years ago, this was a 75 cent toll to cross this bridge. Something's going to go on top. wonder if that's the... Look, that old bridge has a pulley system to raise it, but it's way over here on the edge. Maybe that's the deep trench. The state line in South Dakota now. It's really... This bridge is really cool. Okay, so we're going to take a flat... Uh, no, wait a minute. And Hathaway Cottage with a thatched roof. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And this is the Shakespeare Garden. 
1926, a lady named Mrs. Shea borrowed a thousand dollars to travel to Europe and bring back um, flowers and ideas. And she went to Stratford on Avon. And this is the left side of Anne Hathaway's cottage. And when she came back, she put all these little bits and pieces that like bark off the tree of Anne Hathaway's cottage or flowers out of the Versailles garden that I don't think you can do today. And she put them in portfolios and sold them. And that was how she paid off her thousand dollar debt. I don't know how she managed to borrow $1,000 in 1926 as a woman. She, she was an was English teacher. Yeah. British uh, lit. Yes, was her thing. Like me. And what town are we in? We are in Wessington Springs, South Dakota. Correct. Okay, yeah. there. Well, we made it to our camp at Fort Thompson, South Dakota, on the Missouri River. What are you doing there, Chuck? Uh, pulling down the shower tent. Uh, had it up to dry the last two places we camped at in Iowa. Neither of them had uh, bathrooms working due to uh, frozen and broken pipes in the showers and bathrooms. Uh, so we had to stick up the shower tent so we'd have a place to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, it was too cold to shower there, but when we got here to uh, left tail race, we got us a nice hot shower. Yeah. So This is such a nice campground. We it stayed is. here last year, too. This is the campground on the uh, Crow Creek Sioux Reservation that we went to the powwow at. Yeah. So it's it, kind of a special place for us. I, and we know the campground hosts, so yeah, they're back again this buddy. year. They're so, buddies. Yeah. They're and real nice. So. It's right on the Missouri River, uh, right below the Big Bend Dam. It's like a 26-mile bend in the Missouri. So it's usually always windy here. But the showers were so nice after being surprised by uh, no showers and no bathrooms, which was why we had booked those two uh, campgrounds. This is pretty cool, the way this folds up. You have to kind of be a magician. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> now that I'm recording it, <laughs> now that she's recording it, it's not working for us. That's it, right? Ta da! There. So it just rolls up into this flat circle and really takes up no space in the camper. We put it back but in. But you gotta, you gotta have your hands positioned just yes. right. You would think that the hand position isn't really that important. <laughs> when you watch the how-to video, it's like, hold it like this and then move your hands like this. And that is exactly the, the trick. <laughs> you got to have your, you got to have your hands on it backwards to make it, make it work. But this is the perfect, uh, we've got a battery operated shower. We've got a little toilet that we use actually a little five gallon bucket um, but it's just perfect all right here's our campsite there's gnome town and this windbreak but really the windbreak ought to be over here where i'm standing because that's where the wind comes from <laughs> maybe it's for the afternoon sun i don't know we haven't filmed much this week because we've had Four solid days of gloomy rain. Crappy weather. Yeah, really kind of crappy weather. So, 
Chuck made us a delicious supper tonight. And then here's the back of the camper. Just fits right up in there and sits on top of the spare tire. All right. Okay. Hey, Nomies. Well, I think that's going to do it for this first week of travel. We had a lot of rain. We have had some crazy wind here at Fort Thompson on the Crow Creek Reservation in South Dakota. I looked yesterday and the sustained winds were 17 to 20 with gusts at 30. And I would say today it's even windier, uh, but it's beautiful. The sun's out. The local people are like riding bikes and they're in shorts and sandals and we're kind of huddled up in socks and sweatshirts, but that's okay. We're having a good time. Uh, we're going to head to South, uh, South Central North Dakota tomorrow to um, Hazleton, which is just south of Bismarck. We stayed there last year too. It's a nice Corps of Engineer campground, Corps of Engineer. And from there, we'll probably just spend one night and head to one of our favorite spots, Teddy Roosevelt National Park in Western North Dakota. So we'll see you up yeah. there. Fare thee well, Nomies. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.